Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I am Vinita D'Souza, your host. Uh, we received a lot of feedback requests from our audience to organize one webinar on ECGC. And here we are to present this to you with our very own Mr. Jagdish Bhatia, founder and owner of Bhatia Export Training and Consultancy. Mr. Bhatia, thank you for joining us today to share your mastery with our audience. A warm welcome. Thank you. A warm welcome and thank you to all our viewers on Zoom YouTube for joining us today. Before we move forward, I'd like to give you a small brief introduction of Drip Capital. We are a global trade finance company offering post shipment financing, which is collateral fee to MSME, ex MSME exporters in India. We work with over 1500 sellers and over 900 buyers spread across 80 plus country. We have financed over 2 billion worth of trade since our inception in 2016. To know more about Drip Capital or to avail our services, uh, you could fill the form that is shared in the chat section right now. A note for the audience, during the webinar, you, you can make a note of your questions. At the end of the webinar, we'll help you address these questions. You'll also have the opportunity to raise your hand and directly speak to Mr. Bhatia. Without any further delay, let's dive into today's session. International trade can be a tough business to sustain if we do not navigate our risk appropriately. The stakes are high all the time and even higher during uncertain times like today. To help Indian exporters manage their credit risk insurance, the Government of India set up the Export Credit Guarantee Corporation Limited in 1980. <clears throat> to talk more about on how you can leverage the ECGC and hedge your market risk, today we have Mr. Jagdish Bhatia. Mr. Bhatia has rich experience of over four decades in export-import banking, documentation, finance and risk management. He founded the Bhatia Export Import Training and Consultancy. His experience includes working with banks like Standard Chartered Bank of Dubai, National Bank of Sarja, HDFC Bank, Ahmedabad, Gujarat Chamber of Commerce. He regularly conducts webinars with the government organizations like, such as PO, EEPC, Flex Council, Gujarat University, EDII, CED, and many others. He currently works as a faculty consultant and corporate trainer. As a consultant, he has provided his services to 50 plus export import companies and training to over 10,000 students in export import. I now ask Mr. Bhatia to address our viewer. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Vanita. And um, welcome uh, all of you, uh, Drip Capital uh, participants and all. Uh, so let me share my uh, PPT first from you. <clears throat> so the discussion points uh, today will be what is the ECGC and uh, surprisingly in last uh, year I visited Bombay and uh, there was a one company in Bombay I do not want to name it here and their turnover was about 400 crore in chemicals and uh, they told me to just give the consultancy for our staff to refresh them with the latest rules and regulations. I was surprised to know they were not aware about the ECGC at all. So when I told them if any payment is not coming, what do you do? They say that just we put it into our date, um, bad dates, that's all. So when I told them, have you heard about the word ECGC? So they misunderstood me and uh, they thought I am talking about ECG, you know, electronic audiogram. However, electronic audiogram is uh, also going up and down if your payment is not coming. And, but uh, the, it was a really surprising thing. A lot of things which I will be telling you today, you, I am really sure that you may not be knowing about that. So I request everyone to be with me till the uh, session is ending because each and every point uh, you are not aware about the things in detail and maybe you have paid the premium uh, to ECGC and uh, that is also a refundable which is not known to you uh, but how and why uh, it is refundable that I will tell you in the my subsequent uh, slides. So today's discussion point will I will tell you first how what is ECGC how ECGC is uh, working that is also important to know how ECGC is working. You can't uh, just uh, open a uh, uh, company abroad and uh, 
till them that i will supply it to you you don't supply me here don't make the payment here i will i will just claim from ecgc it is not so so let us see how ecgc also working what are the alternates uh, to ecgc i will that also i will tell you so drip is already with you so you can take the advantage from the drip capital uh, for your post shipment but uh, who can i will uh, the payment risk policy from ecgc what are the types of policy ecgc is offering you and which policy you should uh, acquire what are the things uh, which you should remember while acquiring the ecgc policy and uh, what are the risk covered into that some of the risk are not covered uh, by the ecgc that i will also tell you what are the premiums uh, for those uh, policies that is also very very important never ever do any business without uh, uh, doing uh, taking the policy insurance policy about uh, from the ecgc but uh, don't uh, rush to go to ecgc if the payment term is uh, 100% advance so they will laugh on you uh, let me start now so first uh, let us understand what is risk management under export uh, there is no any uh, such a uh, risk wherein uh, you cannot uh, manage it in advance so um sometime i was taking this uh, session somewhere and uh, i uh, just asked i am not talking about anything about the risk management in export or import it is just uh, i am just asking what is the risk management so i allowed all people to just write down in the chat box what is the risk so some people uh, said sir marriage is the risk somebody said uh, i said i am not talking about marriage and all i am talking about the export somebody said share market is risk somebody wrote that is a life full of is risk yeah life is full of risk but uh, how to manage it is it is an important so it is a risk management subject here today under that first let us understand what is risk uncertainty about the future we, we don't know even sometimes we know we are taking the risk isn't it but uh, whenever you are taking any risk it should be a calculated risk नहीं तो फिर जोर का झरका धीरे से लगेगा फिर हमेशा के लिए एक्सपोर्ट भूल जाते हैं आप सो कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क लेते हैं कभी कभी आप बट टू मैनेज द रिस्क इट इज़ अ राइट वे टू डू दी एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट बिजनेस इफ यू कीप दी पोजीशन ओपन इट मींस यू आर डूइंग अ ब्लाइंड गेम तो वाट एवर वेलकम यू विल टू फेस इट सो इट इज अ ड्यू टू दी अनएक्सपेक्टेड अक्रंस ऑफ द इवेंट्स वी डोंट नो अनफोर्स इन रीजन सरकमटेंसेस sometimes we don't know what will happen and there's some uncontrollable factors which we say in a, a simple language of force major force major is a natural uh, calamities uh, which are which are out of our control still that, that those things can be covered by taking the insurances first let us ask, understand what is management risk management first you identify the risk after identifying what is the risk analyze it and and then analyzing uh, you put it into the action after putting into the action don't leave it keep on uh, monitoring it also and uh, this is the way how to control it <coughs> uh, under uh, export uh, risk are uh, four if you if you have if you think there are more than these uh, four risk just uh, put it to the chat box i will let me see also because from my 46 years experience in export import business i had been abroad also and in india also this is what uh, had come into my mind that these are the only four risk which can be uh, managed in advance prior to the doing any export so payment is a main risk then uh, goods it is a loss and damage by well when the goods are moving from uh, your port from your place to the other place or it is coming from other place to your place foreign exchange risk 77 it is just ever high since uh, the india's history everyone knows about it and how to cover this risk also if it sometime if it goes down then what and then uh, quality rejection by the uh, buyer these are the four uh, main risk but uh, how to manage what are the um, uh, keys uh, to manage uh, these four risk payment risk is uh, managed uh, by the ecgc if payment is not coming government of india is giving you the ecgc uh, export credit guarantee corporation of india 
they are providing you the policy for non payment it is a credit risk called and damage to the goods is covered by the marine insurance company foreign exchange risk is covered by your bank by booking a foreign contract or opening an eefc account and quality rejection you are taking an inspection agency's assistance international inspection agencies like sgas and geo came and all but uh, uh, with a drip capital this is my sixth uh, uh, subject to, uh, today which i am taking the rest of the subject will be taking if you think uh, uh, us to take uh, uh, the particular subject you can put it into, into the uh, chat box we will consider uh, the highest uh, request which is coming we will be taking the next time so today's our subject is ec gc export credit guarantee corporation of india risk for foreign trade what is the role of ecgc <coughs> ecgc formally is a export credit guarantee corporation of india only owned by the government of india ministry of commerce it was uh, set up in 1957 uh, because that was my birth year no not that huh? okay, so 60 years it has passed already uh, with the objective of uh, promoting export from country by providing credit risk insurance and uh, related export of goods and services both are covered people are not aware that service export is also covered by ecgc uh, people are not aware they were the services exported also or not surprisingly uh, if we, you uh, see the total figure export figure of india 37% is a service export so if the people who think that i do not have much uh, funds uh, they can enter into the service export so what is the vision of uh, ecgc it is to excel in uh, providing export credit insurance and trade related services to the exporters so credit risk insurance if your payment is not coming it is made for those people only what is the mission of the ecgc mission of ecgc is to support the indian exporter industry by providing cost effective yeah it is a cost effective also depending from the people how do you think about whether cost effective or not <laughs> because the last year uh, health insurance uh, uh, was about 8000 per year now it has jumped to three times more 300 times more it has jumped this year so depending from people to people uh, what they think about the effective insurance cost effective and trade related service to meet a growing a need of india export market everyone knows the india is the epicenter export epicenter of the world now because of the covid and uh, omicron uh, people are diverting to buy from the other country and uh, india is the second uh, country for the whole world who can uh, supply them uh, the uh, Uh, good quality at a lower price because india is not only having uh, the second largest populated country in the world and that is also not an criteria to be a good country as an exporter but uh, geographically naturally we are in a good uh, shape at in uh, world map that we can reach easily to eastern countries and western countries as well and uh, natural sources if you see from kashmir uh, cold to madras hot and uh, in uh, middle we are having a uh, gujarat maharashtra and madhya pradesh all the seasons are we are having and natural sources we are having everything we are having so um, out of uh, the world's export it is uh, uh, you people are required to do the export with the help of the ecgc why the ecgc has been given to the government government is giving to just promote the export whichever the country is exporting and that is the only developed countries now what is the things in to encourage and facilitate globalization of india industry to protect the india's exporter against the unforeseen losses yes we don't know what will happen at what time which may rise due to the failure of the buyer i have seen one thing uh, really speaking some buyer really want to pay but uh, naturally something happened so that uh, he is financial position has gone so wrong he, he he is unable to pay 
he he is willing to pay but he is unable to pay because of the some uh, things are have gone wrong financially and uh, some people meet me they say sir last 10 years i have been exporting him that gentleman is coming to whenever whenever he is coming to india he is staying at my home i don't allow him to stay in hotel and uh, whenever i go to germany i just stay in his home and then all of a sudden i don't know what has happened he is not paying so my dear friends please remember a uh, financial position of each and every party keeps on changing from time to time every year i'm not saying it is going worse it it can be improve also but uh, never ever uh, do uh, your export uh, without taking ecgc so that can make a big loss to you so coming back to here again to protect the exporter against the unforeseen losses which may uh, arise uh, due to the failure of the buyer maybe due to the bank also Uh, people are not aware that banks are also sometimes gets uh, bankrupt. 2008 history is there. 2002 history is there. 22 banks, cooperative banks, have uh, been closed in Gujarat. BCCI, that is a uh, bank of credit and commerce international, the biggest bank in uh, Europe, was closed in 1990, and uh, some of the biggest bank of the world also closed in 2008. So always take an ECGC and then do export. All the problems faced by the countries. Everyone is aware what had happened uh, five months back in uh, Afghanistan. No one was aware that is, uh, this uh, government will topple. What has happened to Ukraine now, Russia? So things keeps on changing. Never ever keep your position open. You do not know what will happen at what time. Similarly happens to the foreign exchange also. No one knows even. the uh, president of usa don't know what is the prices of the dollar will go up and down it is all on demand and supply even our financial minister doesn't know what will be the dollar rate tomorrow so always cover the risk hai na it a country the faced uh, uh, country of the buyer by providing cost effective insurance credit insurance yeah their premium is very depending upon uh, your payment term and the country risk their cost is uh, decided according to that only so i will show you that uh, ecgc has uh, put uh, the 200 countries of the world into the uh, seven uh, um, um, categories a a a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 and d so a1 is coming into the safest country d d is coming into the very highest risky country so that i will tell you but uh, point number 3 to facilitate availability adequate bank finance to the indian exporters so in your bank is uh, whenever your bank is uh, providing you finance uh, they are taking ecgc on you and uh, remember post shipment finance uh, if uh, they are debiting your account please ask them to uh, uh, to reverse that entry because uh, if they are giving you post shipment finance that ecgc a premium is to be paid by the bank and not by you so this is a good point you please everyone note about this some banks are debiting the customers account which they are not supposed to and uh, you are getting the finance from the banks and bank is taking if they are giving you finance they are taking ecgc on you by providing a surety insurance cover for the bankers at the competitive risk. so this is for the banks uh, but you learned one thing that uh, bank cannot debit your account Uh, in post shipment finance so i remember post shipment finance pre shipment finance they will debit your account <coughs> okay provide overseas investment insurance to indian companies investing in joint ventures abroad in the form of the equity or the loan they are providing the loan to the indian company who are investing in the joint uh, ventures also <coughs> now ecgc what is ecgc covering payment risk is divided into the two parts commercial risk and political risk again uh, commercial uh, risk is uh, divided into wait a minute uh, let me see somebody is written here sir uh, just uh, want to understand how ecgc different from the trade credit insurance okay i have take this one. okay <coughs> commercial risk commercial risk is coming into two parts everyone is requested to just keep uh, your uh, questions with you uh, at the end of the session we will be taking all your questions you write down in the chat box only if you can't hear me or you are unable to see my uh, slides okay 
please do not don't write anything here huh? please just write please take the questions uh, later on yeah fine okay the commercial disk collection uh, collection is a cad document or da document that risk you are taking on the buyer under uh, ac uh, you are uh, taking a risk on the bank uh, so remember this okay if he, you have received any lc you are provided uh, risk only on the bank because under lc it's a bank's uh, responsibility to pay you uh, they will not provide you risk on the buyer coming to uh, third uh, is a political risk that is a, if anything goes wrong in the country of that particular buyer So let us see how ECGC works. It is also important to know how ECGC is working. Whenever you are applying to ECGC on any buyer, you are giving them all the details about the buyer's uh, contact details, name of the company or whatever other uh, maximum details available with you including bank details. So ECGC is a first uh, contacting a Dun & Brad Street company. Dun & Brad Street is a company based in USA and it was established in 1841, 181 years, successful years have been passed. Dun and Bradish is same thing like uh, uh, DNB, uh, we are having a Crystal here, Ikra here, who are providing uh, the uh, rating uh, research, risk and policy advisory services in on to the company. So this is an international company. <clears throat> and it is existing since last 181 years each and every country's banks and countries are depending on the report of the dnb because it is a company uh, who are providing the business information report credit report onto the particular companies so ecgc will be applying it to them in DNB in India. They are having offices all over the world, including uh, major cities in India also. So you can, they, they contact to DNB and uh, DNB send that particular uh, buyer's uh, details, bank's details to that particular DNB in that country. DNB on staff will go to that, uh, go into that uh, company and uh, will tell them that uh, we have been uh, asked to make a credit report on you. So this is nothing like a CIB or CID. Under the international business, they will come to you also. So they will ask you last three years uh, uh, audited balance sheet. If you are a new, it's okay. You can tell them I am a new. I am doing from the first year. So whatever the details they are asking, they will come to your office, factory. They will go visit your bank, registrar are of your office and all. They will make a report. Into that report they will mention everything about the about your promoters rating of your company this is the one of the sample i am showing you how the dnb is making a report rating about your company your working capital net worth of your company when have you started how many employees there and then who are the promoters what is the profit of that company under what uh, what um, items uh, that uh, particular uh, companies are uh, dealing and so many other things whatever you provide them so even if uh, that particular party has done any uh, default of payment the, they mention it to this report without any keeping any shame because it is their duty and that is what they are paid for so you will say sir how will they come to know will they disclose that particular party that i have defaulted i have not made the payment so and so see if they have imported anything they will be checking their payment details have, have you made the payment or not so from account statement it will come to know if they are lying they will go to their bank they will contact to that party also whether you see the payment and what had happened and all if not they will blacklist them so no no other party can work with that particular company in future so people are also afraid to give the wrong information to DNB. Now there is a fashion has come. People are taking a card from them. They are, ah, let me tell you one thing. If you are applying with the DNB to take a credit report on your company and they will, they will provide you the file number. But they will not give you the report also. Don't mention on the card also. If some of the parties are giving you card that I am a DNB approved, see my my dnb uh, uh, number also 
but to verify that number with dnb whether they are really genuine or they are they are reporting in, in negative so in import you are taking the uh, dn uh, dnb report under export to you are taking directly ecgc and one good thing is that if you apply the report through ecgc you will be getting a discount because ecgc is their uh, client and they are providing through ecgc without taking any commission from you so they are also getting the free report so this is how the ecgc is deciding on that report and uh, giving you the credit policy so they are not giving blindly this is what i wanted to convey to you <coughs> never ever go to verify the buyer directly you will not be able to ask him to give the balance sheet or their registrations and all and even if they provide you you will not be able to know whether it is a genuine or you may not be know how to read the balance sheet even if you know how to read the balance sheet you will not be able to know any cases are going on is uh, that company's name or not because cases can be checked by that uh, particular uh, dnb in their website only particular country's website so what are the things you should keep in mind uh, mm, in ecgc so everyone currently ecgc has re rejected what uh, please do not mention anything in chat box because i am getting unless it disturbed here uh, okay what are the things you keep in uh, uh, mind in ecgc advance payment uh, advance payment has to be paid it is a erda rule ecgc is working under erda and uh, insurance regulatory authority of india if ecgc is not working well with you you can go to ombudsment um, or you can file a case in uh, consumer court also and uh, advance payment uh, you need uh, need not to contact ecgc 100% advance payment as it is some people after teaching them in uh, ecgc people even 100% advance is there people are going to ecgc भैया वो ई सी जी सी है एक्सपोर्ट क्रेडिट गारंटी कॉरपोरेशन है ना हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा पेमेंट की है पेमेंट इफ इट इज नॉट कमिंग देन बट इफ यू पेमेंट टर्म इज हंड्रेड परसेंट एडवांस वाट ई सी जी सी विल गिव यू सम पीपल गो उज पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजेक्शन इज इम्पोर्ट द ई सी जी सी सेट एंड इम्पोर्ट यू आर गोइंग टू मेक द पेमेंट टू ई सी जी सी नॉट दैट बायर इज मेकिंग यू आर द बायर सो प्लीज बी careful about this under lc payment you will be getting insurance only on the bank not on the buyer so you are supposed to submit the document exactly as per lc terms and conditions i told you last time also there is a survey of last year international survey by international chamber of commerce 90% of the document in world under lc uh, were a uh, discrepant so ultimately you are at the mercy of the buyer to accept that ha ah, most of the documents are accepted by them because they need uh, goods not the document but uh, some people will make mischief if the price has gone down okay that that point is to be noted and if you want us to take the uh, uh, session on webinar on uh, ucpdc uniform uh, customs and practice on documentary credit we will be arranging next time coming to point number 3 collection document wherein uh, there is a no bank guarantee that is a cad document and da i am talking about so under that uh, they will give you the policy on the bhavaya what are you keep other things in mind that you need to disclose all the details of the contract to ecgc simply contract ki copy de do na unko ha huh? just give your contract copy to ecgc let them go through and ecgc provide to cover those exporter who are wholly IC <coughs> and member of promotion council. ये नया आया है हाँ अभी IC तो होना ही है IC नहीं होगा तो क्यों देगी IC is a must because import export code is must. But uh, this they have added new that you should be a member of some promotion council. It means you are genuine. You are not coming here to time pass. So you sh you are required to be the member of uh, one of the any promotion council of your product or if you also will do. check the ecgc portal negative list of the buyers uh, yeah this is a negative point from the what i think so because ecgc knows to whom they have provided this uh, 
पॉलिसी ऑन विच बायर स्टिल दे कीप ऑन सेइंग कि हमारी वेबसाइट पे देखते रहो कि मैंने उस बायर को नेगेटिव लिस्ट में डाल तो नहीं दिया है अरे भैया हम लोगों को पॉलिसी दी है आपके रिकॉर्ड में है अगर आप लोगों ने उसको नेगेटिव लिस्ट में डाल दिया है तो हमको इन्फॉर्म करो ना इमीडिएटली फोन करो इसे ईमेल करो तो दिस इज रियली अ वेरी हेरेसिंग पॉइंट फ्रॉम ए सी जी सी कंप्लाई आयल टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन ऑफ द पॉलिसी रीड ईच एंड एवरी वर्ड अबाउट द पॉलिसी सर हु इज गॉट द टाइम टू रीड ऑल थिंग्स बी सी इफ यू से लाइक दिस नो देन यू विल बी फेसिंग अ प्रॉब्लम वाई टेकिंग द टेम इफ एट एनीथिंग हैपन यू आर सपोज टू कंप्लाई ऑल द टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन सफिशियंट क्रेडिट लिमिट इज टेकन सपोज इफ यू आर टेकिंग अ लिमिट ऑफ फिफ्टी लैक्स and if you supply them 70 lakhs your claim will be passed only up to 50 lakhs so this is like an od the bank is giving you <coughs> 50 lakhs you have given and uh, 50 lakhs you have made the shipment again 50 lakhs is already open for you so it is like a od limit so only it is not only for 50 lakhs once it keeps on and it is valid for one year so check the validity keep on checking the validity keep on re- renewing it every year file the export return in time people are given the time to file the uh, export returns uh, by the next month f- by 15th and uh, if a payment has come before that don't uh, say that uh, we kyun disclose karna because i am going to reveal one thing which uh, i am I, i think most of the people you do not know about it so let me disclose this here on this point and subsequently i'll be disclosing so many things to you today suppose you have taken the policy from ecgc today and you have made the payment for that particular uh, amount of 50 lakhs uh, premium you have paid to them what ecgc is doing they are opening an one uh, account uh, in their books uh, for you and uh, they keep that much uh, money in in in, uh, in their account in your uh, name once uh, you make the shipment then that account is debited and you give the declaration also then they debit your account and apply that uh, premium to against that declaration till that it is remaining into that uh, your account with the ecgc suppose that order is cancelled or you are not making the shipment for any reason you can claim that uh, premium amount back isn't it a good point believe me no one knows lakhs and crore of uh, rupees of the insurance company including ecgc and other insurance companies are lying there in marine insurance also if the particular transaction is cancelled that premium is supposed to be refunded to you but they will not unless you ask them so such a funds are lying with them and they will not disclose this to you so this is what you are learning from our webinar okay so many other things also i am going to disclose today so you are supposed to file the return in time sometime what happened uh, last year one party what they did he did you know he made the shipment on 5th and he was supposed to file the return by the next month by 15th but by that payment has come so he said abhi kyun main declaration de do अभी तो पेमेंट भी आ गई अननेसेसरी माय अकाउंट विल बी डेबिटेड एंड अप्लाइड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजेक्शन ऐसा नहीं करना है ना व्हाट हैपन यू नो नेक्स्ट टाइम वन क्लेम हैड कम इसी जी सी टोल्ड हिम वट एवर द शिपमेंट यू हैव डन यू शो मी एंड वट एवर द डिक्लेशन यू हैव गिवन टू अस वी आर ऑलरेडी हैविंग विथ अस गो एंड ब्रिंग द सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम योर बैंक दैट हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी एक्सपोर्ट ऑर्डर्स यू हैव सबमिटेड टू देम एंड दिस ऑर्डर वॉज रिवील्ड दियर the bank ecgc said you did not declare this ecgc knows everything because he is taking he is when they give you post shipment no that bank is giving the declaration to your bank also if you not done post shipment that is a good thing but uh, still this is a cross verifying abhi aapka claim pass nahi karegi because you are not given the declaration correctly so please remember one more thing also DGFT Reserve Bank of India your bank and custom department all website are interlinked so never ever do any uh, mischief by uh, doing any uh, such things uh, by hiding anything okay okay and uh, report to ECGC within 45 days although 
although the ECG says say to report to, to me if non due to the uh, 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 this thing uh, by um, 45 days but what I, I do say to my uh, um, uh, participant please report it immediately by keeping a CC to ECGC company while uh, doing the correspondence with the uh, bio so let them also know what are what is going on <coughs> so advance payment is prepaid yeah unless advance payment is prepaid your uh, your policy is not valid thumb rule policy need to be taken prior to shipment yes you cannot take the policy after once you have buyer has defaulted and premium is prepaid i told you about this ec is open an account in the record and it is applied only if you give a declaration whoa risk not covered by ECGC. There is a long list but let us concentrate on few of the points here. One minute please. ECGC says that I will not uh, cover the risk uh, for non-fulfillment of the contractual obligation by exporter. So what is that? You had a contract with a uh, buyer and uh, you have given that copy of uh, contract to ECGC and uh, you have not obliged any of the point in mentioned into the order and uh, due to that uh, buyer is not making the payment so ECGC say not your fault and because of that buyer is not paying so this is not claim cannot be honored <coughs> another thing quality dispute some people meet me and they say sir buyer to payment nahi karne ke liye quality ka dispute nikalega hi na and a buyer will always say quality barabar nahi tha, quality is not correct but uh, ECGC will be the uh, judge to do the survey whether quality was there so quality risk is to be how to how to manage this quality risk but today's our subject is about ECGC so I will we'll be concentrating on that okay and uh, major discrepancy under LC see I am a banker I worked with the Standard Chartered Bank in Dubai, National Bank of Sharja, HDFC. I worked 20 years in this trade finance department, export department only. As far as bank is concerned, discrepancy is discrepancy. There is no major and there is no uh, small. So, as per ECGC, they say no. For us, major is a different and small discrepancy is a different thing so let us understand up from the viewpoint of the ECGC what do they say they say if because of this discrepancy in the document buyer's transaction is nowhere affected that is a small so what is the example Suppose in LC they have asked you to provide uh, three copies of invoices and uh, you provided only one. Are by two copy photocopy nikal no na kya problem hai? So this is a minor discrepancy. So what is major? Here are the major. Major discrepancies as per ECGC late presentation, non submission of the original document. Packing is not done properly, description of goods are default, payment terms are default, unit price you have mentioned higher, port of destination has been gone wrong. So under these things ECGC will not pay to you even. So be careful, uh, ECGC is giving a leverage here, the minor discrepancy and major discrepancies, they are giving a difference here. And there are many reasons why exporters present discrepant document. There are a lot of things to understand because uh, UCPBC is work under LC, people have never heard about the word UCP, Uniform Customs and Practice for Documentary Credit. LC is working on to that rules and regulation. There are 39 articles into that. How to understand these 39 articles? There is another book called ISBP, International Standing Banking Practice. Who knows about this? No one knows about this. So that is the reason the doc, uh, documents are going into the discrepancy. So due to lack of knowledge or could not understand the letter of credit mechanism 
and underestimating the risk factors associated with electro transition. So these are the things. Uh, people are thinking, Are bada LC a gaya, Standard Chartered Bank Dubai ka LC a gaya, 50 lakhs rupees ka, let us do party. This is not a matter of party here. First read it. See whether you will be able to comply those terms and conditions or not. And then do it. Once payment comes, then do the party. Don't jump for the party here. Yeah. So understand the mechanism of the letter of credit. Letter of credit is only a guarantee saying that you submit me the documents according to the UCP, ISBP, I will pay to you. The question is that are you able to, have you heard about the UCP and ISBP? No. So this is due to the lack of knowledge. Exactly. So <clears throat> how the ECGC is charging? No flat charges. Premium ranges from 0 0.2 to 1.50 depending on the factors but average is 0 0.50 <coughs> type of risk depending upon the country payment offered type of the policy what are you taking sometimes they will take up uh, take back the policy also uh, because of this uh, what has happened into Ukraine and uh, Russia they have put uh, the not not uh, exactly what you are reading into the newspapers so ECGC has issued one uh, circular that we have not withdrawn uh, for uh, shipment to Russia. However, we will be considering from case to case. Maybe tomorrow there is a meeting uh, in uh, central government about uh, how to deal with the payments of the Russian exporters payment and all. So that also if you are a few member you can, uh, you can join that meeting also. So let us see how the, they are charging. Uh, I am giving one example of the one policy here only. So that is an, uh, a special policy here, yeah? exporters special policy. 200 countries are there in the world. They have divided into seven uh, departments here, A from A1 to a D. More risky country, more premium. More risky payment, more premium. So if your payment is LC8 side and country is USA A1, so premium is 10. Under same country, if you are supplying the goods at 100 and from 91 days to 188 DA, uh, premium will go to 0.70 percent also. So keep in mind and check into the uh, particular uh, things that uh, whether you are able to do <coughs> premium on what premium is charged on the CIF value. Okay, CIF value they are, they are charging. So under 91, 91 days, 280 days, you are making it to 200.151. So average premium is coming about 0 0.50 if your country is okay and if your payment time is okay. More risky payment, more premium, more risky country, more premium. Less uh, premium, uh, sorry, less uh, payment uh, risk. Uh, so less premium country is uh, less uh, it is a very secure country so premium is also less what documents will be required to claim ECGC pays claims as per a policy normally pays and 90 percent of the losses claims for side payment can be lodged one month after a loss claim can be Claim for the site payment document can be lodged one month after the loss and four months for the usance fill. But within one year from the due date of the payment. Anyway, within one year. So what are the documents you will be giving them? Copies of the export document, claim form they will provide you. It is already there on their website also. Correspondence with the buyer. Don't make any, any correspondence by yourself. Fistitious correspondence, don't make it because they will be verifying with the buyer have you wrote like this or what because unnecessarily buyer will be uh, otherwise put into the blacklist <coughs> sorry <coughs> give them order copy again and lc copy if it is a payment under lc and uh, previous experience if you have this will be very helpful <coughs> why the claims are rejected there are various reasons for that Policy holder do not read the policy document and are unaware of the fine print and ignorant about the same. Sir, I time not know how to do this. 
so this is not a question okay you need to read it you keep the stuff you keep the assistance and then do it if you do without reading you are doing something very very risky things and when claim comes the insurance company will show you that fine print terms and conditions dekho humne likha tha aap logo ne sahi kiya hai ab kya karoge <coughs> therefore it is suggested to read and accept all terms and conditions before accepting proposal after receipt of the policy policy aa jane ke baad usko padhe bhi aise hi kuch bhi likh diya hai un logo ne aapne accept karke de diya then baad mein bologe ki sir aisa hua tha karke to they will not accept it one of the policy i am just showing you how the policy looks like so have a look about the ecgc policy shipment on comprehensive risk policy we are having several branches in uh, india you can find out uh, the location of your branch by clicking this link i have uh, already provided my ppts to drip capital and uh, you all the participant who are attending my session here right now we are here in, in uh, zoom we are having 95 and on facebook and uh, youtube also and linkedin we are also live so helpline and contact number uh, of the ecgc uh, i have given a link also you can take their help also don'ts and do's under the different policies what you should do and what you, what you should not do ecgc has already advised you so for that uh, i have also provided one link <clears throat> proposal form if you want to take a policy on your particular um, uh, export uh, order you can just uh, download this proposal form and submit to them credit limit application on particular buyer if you want to take out then you can download this and submit to them queries related and feedback ecgc has already given one um, circular how to use this feedback form and queries there are different types of policies offered by ecgc you are required to visit to the nearest branch there are a lot of branches are there in our gujarat also we are having in ahmedabad baroda rajkot surat major cities are having there otherwise you can contact directly to bombay office also explain them about your transition they will suggest you appropriate policy so branch offices already have given you one link here each policy described see so many policies are there but each policy describe about the benefit of that policy period of about that policy see each policy is having a different types of benefits different types of periods different types of exclusion permitted different types of risk covered different type of the percentage sometimes 90 sometimes 85 sometimes 80 sometimes 100 also so you need to download that read it and then go ahead accordingly important obligation by the exporter each policy is having the different obligations and highlight of the particular policy these are the things already mentioned into that policy hyperlink is already given into that body each policy i have given a hyperlink just click it you will find uh, the policies at details so uh, let me show you one example <clears throat> so this is what i uh, clicked here shipment comprehensive risk policy they are giving you scr is stand for <coughs> standard policy period 12 months exclusion permitted risk covered percentage 90% minimum premium 10000 important obligation by you to ecgc and highlights and risk covered under this standard policy commercial risk covered political risk covered each and every policy is some do's and don'ts so uh, whenever you are dealing with them please remember to read the whole policy and then do it otherwise what will happen आपने जो प्रीमियम पे किया वो तो पैसे ही चला जाएगा ना पड़ा नहीं तो तो वट एवर द पॉलिसी दे ऑफर यू क्लिक इट रीड इट एक्सेप्ट बिफोर एक्सेप्टिंग द प्रपोजल आई मीन वेन बिफोर मेकिंग द पेमेंट टू यू रीड इट प्रॉपरली एंड देन ऑप्टेन दैट पॉलिसी 
so service policy specific shipment policy small exporter policy shipment comprehensive risk matlab sab risk cover kar diya commercial risk political risk bank risk export specific buyer policy consignment export macro exporter software project customer specific cover policy is also they are offering then you can just click and read it before i take uh, your questions the thing is that already ecgc has given the some of the answers of uh, of your question on their website so let us uh, take a generally asked question from the exporters and uh, the answers given by the ecgc to you some people said to ex uh, these are not my question answers okay these are the question asked by you to ecgc and ecgc has provided the answers of those questions so this will reduce our time when taking the ecgc question and answer so your policy is uh, some people told to ecgc sir your policy is so complex that you always find a reason to reject the claim or our uh, portfolio is well balanced and we currently foresee no risk or we understand our buyer very well उनका पॉलिसी बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्स है और लोगों ने एक लिस्ट बना के रखा है ऑलरेडी कि रिजेक्ट करने के लिए इनमें से कोई ना कोई बात तो नहीं की होगी डेफिनेटली एक्सपोर्टर ने चलो रिजेक्ट करो क्लेम को नंबर टू हमारा बैलेंस शीट बराबर है पोर्टफोलियो हम लोग जानते हैं बायर को वो कुछ भी नहीं होगा सो वाट डू दे गिव एंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आवर एनुअल रिपोर्ट यू विल फाइंड दैट वी डू पे आउट क्लेम्स है ना वो क्लेम्स तो पे तो कर रहे हैं the rules you need to follow in order to protected are a well described and realistic jo log baatein bata rahe hain na wo realistic hai seedhi seedhi baatein bata rahe hain kyun reject ho raha hai claim and policy wordings are fairly straightforward it is not our wish to reject the claim this always leads to frustration by the policy holder and could be cause of us losing the policy matlab wo aisa bata rahe hain ki because of the frustration you are saying like this because you are not complied the terms and con our con terms and condition see this is not i am saying huh? this is ecgc already put these answers on their website number 2 we never had a debt that impacted our business this is your question that you say that we never had a impacted uh, uh, any debt in our business so what the answer is this is giving prevention is better than cure ha wo ye wala baat to main bhi agree karta hu prevention is better than cure even though you may have a clean payment history it is no guarantee that loss could not be made in future unforeseen reason no one knows what will happen in future corona ke bare mein kisi ko pata tha kya जूम का नाम कभी किसी ने सुना था पहले 20 मार्च 2020 के पहले गूगल मीट के बारे में नाम सुना था नो ये सब आए ये सब नया आविष्कार हुआ कभी ये बातें हो रही है अदरवाइज टुडे वी आर हैविंग सो मेनी पीपल्स हेयर मोर देन अबाउट 200 टू 300 पीपल्स नहीं तो फिजिकली मिलना पड़ रहा था एंड फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ कंपनी कीप्स ऑन चेंजिंग फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम even though sometime people want to pay but they are unable to pay because of the foreign chaos it does not cost you much to protect your self against payment loss bilkul sahi hai ye baat to premium pay karo safe raho ek lakshman rekha bana di aapne apne export order ke samne and keep it always 10 saal se usse ke sath kaam kar raha hu 11 saal payment nahi hai bhai this can happen also na it is seen that uh, sometime buyers intention of paying is very much clear but he is unable to pay due to their adverse financial position banks default or political externalization political externalization pata hai kya ho raha hai na russia ukraine um, uh, sri lanka one of is sri lanka mein payment externalization problem chal raha hai बाहर वॉन्ट टू पे बैंक वॉन्ट टू पे एक्सटर्नलाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम चल रहा है नहीं दे सकते बाहर कंट्री से बाहर कैसे नहीं जाएंगे दैट इज कॉल्ड एक्सटर्नलाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम थर्ड क्वेश्चन एक्सपोर्टर डेड विथ ई सी जी सी 
we have enough reserve to overcome losses with the, the premium we are paying we can use that <laughs> हमने ऑलरेडी रिजर्व में रखा हुआ है टू कवर दो लॉसेज ऐसा थोड़ी नहीं होता है द रिजर्व पुट असाइड आर एस्टिमेटेड टू कवर योर नॉर्मल लॉसेज इज इट इफ एन अनएक्सपेक्टेड ह्यूज डेबिट डेट अकर्स योर रिजर्व विल नॉट बी एडिकेट टू एब्जॉर्ब योर लॉसेज बराबर बोल प्रीमियम इज वेरी लेस समटाइम वन बिग ऑर्डर विल कम इट विल मैनेज द होल प्रॉफिट ऑफ द होल ईयर समटाइम मे बी in a big loss by closing the company financial loss image loss <coughs> we understand can predict the up and down sometimes when one of your client goes insolvent it will not be classified as either a industry upturn or down sometimes some industry goes down political risk is not within our uh, prediction Ukraine and Russia it was not our in prediction and even the cyclical knowledge of your industry it may not be helpful it is just take some effort to inform us in writing that we ask is the kind of reporting your company should be able to provide to your management so you are asking you telling the company that you are asking so many reports and all but anyway you are you are providing this report to your management about your turnover and all that same report you are supposed to it is not a troublesome you can keep one staff you already account department is doing to give the report to your management same report hi to dena hai usko disclaimer contact ecgc office for more clarity and details the terms and condition keeps on changing from time to time and the policy type and uh, this is uh, the full uh, source i give it to you from ecgc only so sometimes if you see uh, people say sab ecgc ka alternate kya hai to ecgc ka post shipment ke liye aapke paas already alternate direct capital hai you can contact them they will they will pay to you without uh, recourse to you A DGFT is uh, taking uh, your dispute with the uh, buyer, and uh, how far uh, they are working with uh, this. वो तो अलग session लेना पड़ेगा ना. Sometimes you say embassy, consulate, DGFT, some debt recovery agencies and all. Whether is it uh, recoverable or not? It is really a time-consuming waste of money without any guarantee whether you will get it or not. so always take ecgc without taking ecgc if you are exporting you are doing very risky business so there are some other government and private debt recovery agencies also but never export to uh, without taking the ecgc very expensive time consuming without any guarantee i have made some videos because of this i have made one video on export debt recovery how to make it whether it is working or not if it is working how it is working if it is not working why it is not working whether ac payment is safe or not how shall i export uh, safely how can i make a uh, uh, successful and profitable export and uh, such uh, things are already uh, given there <coughs> about me already uh, vanita has told you that i worked with star charter hdfc gujarat university a trade promotion council bombay chamber of commerce few and all uh, i am providing export import consultancies cooperative personal training and uh, distance learning also content of my course are already here so ppt will be given to i do provide advanced courses also one to one also benefit of my courses are given here so anybody is having any questions here you can uh, now uh, please put your reviews on on my this links if you liked it and uh, reviews about uh, what do you want us to take the next uh, uh, in subjects and i wish you all the best and let us take your questions now so we will be taking your questions now um, yes sir vanita yes sir uh, thank you for the presentation i am sure the audiences have enjoyed it uh, we have seen a lot of questions coming in uh, so just a quick note for our audiences who are watching us on zoom <coughs> and on linkedin 
uh, sorry, uh, our audiences who are watching us on LinkedIn and YouTube, uh, you could post your questions in the chat section. Uh, we'll, uh, you know, pick it up as we go ahead. Uh, for everyone who's watching us on Zoom, uh, please raise your hand and uh, we'll uh, unmute you so that you can ask a question directly to Mr. Bhatia. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, let's just take a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I see the first hand is raised by Mr. Jagmohan Chililbar. Let me unmute him. Can you unmute yourself? Yeah. Yes, Jagmohan Ji. Good afternoon. Ah, good afternoon, sir. Can Very good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sir, question is that our buyer is Esprit. He was bankrupt. He was bankrupt. बैंक कब टोने के बाद उसने सब कुछ फाइनल कर दिया है और नेक्स्ट एक्सपोर्ट शुरू कर दिया उसने बैंक कब टोने के बाद एक्सपोर्ट शुरू कर दिया हाँ उसी नाम से री एक्सपोर्ट शुरू हो गया है और पेमेंट भी आ रही है लेकिन ईसीजी कवर नहीं कर रहे हैं वो ईसीजीसी कवर नहीं कर रहे ईसीजीसी का एक्सपीरियंस उन अगर इसी जिसी किसी के ऊपर आपको कवर नहीं दे रहा है तो वो छोड़ो उस बार को दूसरे पकड़ो इतनी सारी मछलियाँ पड़ी हैं समुद्र में है ना ड्रिप कैपिटल है आपके लिए ड्रिप कैपिटल को कांटेक्ट करो इफ दे कैन डिस्काउंट या पोस्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट विदाउट रिकॉर्ड्स तू यू आल्सो अभी जो बायर भाई सीजीसी का मैंने बोला ना क्रिटेरिया है डीएनबी की रिपोर्ट निकलवाएगा डीएनबी की रिपोर्ट में अगर वो नेगेटिव में आ रहा है तो नहीं देगा तो सीजीसी नोज बेटर देन यू व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हाट ही सेस तो मैंने ये भी बताया था कि एक आदमी यहाँ से गया था चाइना पार्टी को वहाँ से उसकी रिपोर्ट निकाल के खुद आ गया है ना बाद में यहाँ से इम्पोर्ट की पेमेंट की और बाद में पार्टी गुम हो गई वो अभी सोचे जरा आप वो नोज बेटर आप जाके खुद भी देख के आओगे ना उस कंपनी को तो भी नहीं पता चलेगा इसी जिसी डीएनबी से रिपोर्ट निकालती है उसे कंट्री के अंदर वहाँ की कंट्री का लोकल आदमी जाते हैं उस कंपनी में ही नोज बेटर उसको पता है कि वहाँ के कोर्ट की उसके अंदर क्या केसेस चल रहे हैं उसकी फाइनेंशियल पोजीशन क्या है उसके बैंक में गया हुआ है उसके ऑफिस में गया हुआ है वो तो कुछ भी बोलेगा मैं ऐसा हूँ हर माँ के लिए अपना बेटा ऐसा होता है कि मेरे जैसा बेटा पूरी दुनिया में कैसा है किसी का भी नहीं है लेकिन दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन है तो जज में निकलवानी पड़ेगी जज से है ना वो जज कौन है डीएनबी और डीएनबी ने इसी जिसी को पता है कि भैया ये कुछ भी बोल रहा है लेकिन ध्यान रखना पीछे की बात है ना सी आई विल टेल यू वन थिंग या जगमोहन जी पीपल्स बिलीव ऑन पीपल्स ऑन नॉट बिलीविंग ऑन टू टू पीपल्स दो दो लोगों के ऊपर हम लोग विश्वास नहीं करते पेमेंट में नंबर वन जिसको हम नहीं जानते क्लियर okay. और दूसरा दूसरा जिसको जानते हैं जिसको जानते हैं लेकिन बाइंग हाउस भी इन्वॉल्व है उसने भी कोई हेल्प नहीं नहीं जानते नहीं जानते तो 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 नहीं करते ना बिलीव और दूसरा जिसको जानते हैं वो आप उसको आप उसको अलर्टी जानते हो कि ये ऐसा था हाँ हाँ तो वो वो ऐसा था मतलब जिसको जानते हैं तो प्लीज टेक डोंट डोंट मेक दी शिपमेंट देर आर लैक्स ऑफ बायस इन दिस वर्ल्ड अबाउट द एक्सपोर्ट एंड इंपोर्ट इट इज ओशन एक नहीं तो दूसरा सही दूसरा नहीं तो तीसरा सही नहीं तो ड्रिप तो बेटा ये ड्रिप को पूछो ड्रिप इज टेकिंग एन ड्यू डेलीगेंसी बिको बिफोर गिविंग यू द डिस्काउंटिंग डॉक्यूमेंट हमने ड्रिप को बोला कि हमको हंड्रेड परसेंट मांगता है वो एटी परसेंट मांग देता है अरे लेकिन बाकी में ट्वेंटी परसेंट अरे यार उनका जो रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन है वो भी तो माने रखना एच एस बी सी बैंक है वो हंड्रेड परसेंट दे रहे हैं सही बात है आपकी लेकिन मैंने आपको जो बताई दो बातें इसी को भी मैंने बोला ना हंड्रेड परसेंट आप दो तो फिर हम फाइनेंस ले सकते हैं अभी आपका ये पर्टिकुलर केस है तो यू यू अप्रोच ड्रिप अगेन एंड देन सॉर्ट आउट विथ देम या ओके ओके ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज वनिता नेक्स्ट क्वेश्च uh, we let Mr. Kalur speak. Uh, Mr. Kalur Rehman, can you unmute yourself, sir? Yes. Thank you for uh, giving this opportunity. Thank you. Uh, sir, agar exporters hai, suppliers bhi exporters hai. Hello? I'm listening to you, but I don't understand the question. No, no. Now, we are a supplier. Okay. Okay, we export. Hmm. 
माल इधर से लेके दूसरा भी को दे रहा है हम्म अभी हमको ऑर्डर आ गया और आधा ऑर्डर एक्सपोर्ट कर दिया और आधा ऑर्डर एक्सपोर्ट नहीं करा क्यों कस्टमर बोला हमको अभी नहीं चाहिए अभी ये गुड्स हमारे पास है एक एक सप्ले एक एक एक्सपोर्ट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट होता है और ये सप्लेयर का और एक्सपोर्टर का डिफरेंट है हम दूसरा आदमी को नहीं दे सकता है अभी ये लॉस में है ना कि ये कैसा क्लेम कर सकता है <laughs> अच्छी बात है ओके okay. uh, मैं आपको इसका आंसर बताता हूँ ईसीजीसी uh, जो कवर दे रही है एक्सपोर्ट क्रेडिट गारंटी कॉर्पोरेशन एक्सपोर्ट किया है उसकी पेमेंट नहीं आई है उसके ऊपर दे रहा है ये वाला जो आपने एक्सपोर्ट किया ही नहीं है उसके ऊपर नहीं दे रहा है तो व्हाट यू शुड हैव डन सो दिस इज नॉट अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ ए सी आई एम गिविंग यू दंसर अबाउट दिस इस केसेज में इस केसेज में आपको क्या करना चाहिए था ऑलवेज टेक एन एडवांस सम पोर्शन ऑफ एडवांस वेर वेर दर्डर इज कैंसल्ड ए प्रायर टू शिपमेंट यू कैन कॉम्पनसेट यूर सेल्फ विथ दैट एडवांस सो यू शुड हैव टेकन ड्यू डेलीजेंसी हियर इफ यू वुड हैव डन लाइक दिस ये आज की सिचुएशन नहीं आई होती हम फिफ्टी परसेंट पेमेंट ले रहे हैं फिफ्टी परसेंट लिया है ऑलरेडी फिफ्टी परसेंट मीन्स जो टोटल क्वान्टिटी में फिफ्टी परसेंट ले आया है और अभी पेमेंट कैसा आता है जो जा मिला है उनके हाथ में उसको पेमेंट दे दिया और इधर टिक गया है माल <coughs> उसका पेमेंट नहीं आया वो हमेशा ऐसे ही करते हैं पहले पहले आप लोगों का दिल जीत लेते हैं और बाद में बाद में धीमे धीमे करके साइकिल बनाते हैं साइकिल बना के बीच में से वन कड़ी को निकाल देते हैं बाद में वो कड़ी टूट जाने के बाद पूरी की पूरी जो ट्रांजेक्शन है आपकी टूट जाती है सो ऑलवेज कीप वन सम टाइप ऑफ अ पोर्शन एडवांस विथ यू so that if any thing is happening in future you should compensate yourself with that so this is the, the answer only but not connected with ecgc but this is my personal advice because of my 46 years experience i have been telling all the exporters to keep some advance portion with you always reserved with you so thank you thank you thank you, thank you very much um uh, we'll take the next question from mr deepak saini Oh, okay. so can you unmute yourself here yeah i uh, uh, that is actually i just want to understand with uh, uh, with regard to uh, this credit insurance now how it is different from the ecdc in terms of like premium benefit in terms of uh, services so if you can elaborate on that thank you क्वेश्चन नहीं समझ में आया वैनी तो कुछ क्वेश्चन समझ में आया क्योंकि आवाज भी क्लियर नहीं था तो अगर आपको कुछ ऑल्टरनेट है तो कौन सी है मुझे बताओ यू डो नॉट एनी अदर इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी एक्सेप्ट ड्रिप कैपिटल ड्रिप कैपिटल ही है जो आपको पोस्ट पेमेंट फाइनेंस देती है No, there are uh, policies available like Cofas and ICICI, uh, also Lombard. Also, they are providing policies. Who is providing? Cofas, Cofas. I don't know them. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure about that. You can put it into writing into me in my email address, which is appearing on my screen, and let me go through it. Okay. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, there is no insurance company providing credit policy in India except ACGC. Okay, I I will share you over there. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Next um, question, please. We take the next question from Mr. Mahendra Patel. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Patel, can you unmute yourself, sir? Hello, Namaskar, sir. Namaste, Mahendra ji. Bolie, bolie. Ah, uh, अच्छा हम लोग exporter हैं. Hmm. हम लोग export किया था. Against LC और ECGC coverage है. Hmm. ईसीजीसी कवरेज एलसी जो बैंक है उसके नाम से है 
तो अभी एक्चुअली पेमेंट टर्म्स है एलसी एट साइट बट कस्टमर मतलब एक्सेप्टेंस दे नहीं रहा है मतलब करीबन पंद्रह बीस दिन हो गया तो अभी हम लोगों ने प्रोसेस तो किया है डिफॉल्ट फाइल किया है बट क्या प्रोसीजर रहता है कितना टाइम लगता है ये क्लेम करने आने के लिए और आपने बताया मेरे को कि एट साइड पेमेंट है आप फिर बोलते हो कि कस्टमर एक्सेप्टेंस नहीं दे रहा है एक्सेप्टेंस कस्टमर तो है ही नहीं बीच में इट इज ऑनली इफ इट इज अच्छा डिस्क्रिपेंसी आया डिस्क्रिपेंसी था वो वो भी तो हो गई तो मैंने बता दिया ना 90% डॉक्यूमेंट अंडर एलसी इन द वर्ल्ड आर डिस्क्रिपेंट डॉक्यूमेंट वो क्या डिस्क्रिपेंसी है मेजर है या माइनर है क्या है डिस्क्रिपेंसी सिंपल है कि उनको कॉपी ऑफ सर्टिफिकेट ओरिजिन नहीं मिला था वो ऑलरेडी हम लोग ने प्रोवाइड कर दिया सर्टिफिकेट ओरिजिन दिया भी था कभी नहीं दिया था नहीं ऑलरेडी दिया था तीन कॉपी दिया था अच्छा कौन सी कौन सी कंट्री है ये इथोपिया है इथोपिया माय गॉड कौन सी बैंक है यार अवस अवस इंटरनेशनल तो पर्टिकुलर बायो और कंसाइनी किसको रखा है एलसी अपना डॉक्यूमेंट के अंदर बीएल में कंसाइनी कौन है कस्टमर वो बैंक को बैंक होना चाहिए ना कस्टमर नहीं होना चाहिए हां हां बैंक बैंक है बैंक है तो फिर ठीक है ना आपका माल सेफ पड़ा है डोंट वरी अबाउट इट ठीक है ठीक है थैंक यू नेक्स्ट प्लीज ओके जस्ट टू नोट टू द ऑडियंस अगेन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टेक एनी क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द क्यूएनए सेक्शन Uh, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. You can ask the question directly to Mr. Bhatia. Uh, we'll take the next question from Mr. Praveen Pawar. Uh, Mr. Pawar, can you unmute yourself, sir? Uh, Mr. Pawar, can you unmute yourself? uh we will go to the next viewer mr kushang shastri uh, sir can you unmute yourself yes good afternoon uh, am i audible yes sir yes firstly thank you uh, drip as well as uh, jagdish sir for uh, you know carrying this particular webinar uh, jagdish sir i have a one small uh, query basically uh, we are already member of ecgc we already have a sec policy on our buyer मेडिकल रीजन मोर फिफ्टीन डेजेट he's been answering my calls he's been taking my emails he's been doing each and everything uh, as as soon as i you know the, the due date passed i contacted ecgc that sir uh, this is how the situation is so one of the uh, uh, you know executive in the ecgc branch he said that it is your business decision if you wish to wait right if you wish to wait uh, then you can wait for 13 14 days like you said as your buyers has asked but when i talked with the another executive at the same time the same plan he said that sir it is one month past your due payment hmm. right our due uh, our uh, due date of payment was on 2nd february hmm. now is 3rd uh, april and it is almost more than one month then your due payment has hmm. passed hmm. one month about uh, due payment so you have to file the rod he said hmm. i somehow have trust on my buyer because he is you know i i i have known that he is traveling because of this medical purpose and everything and he will need 12 13 days maximum from my side from his side to clear all my due payments okay so but at the same time the ecgc is asking me that you know why don't you file rod i said that once you will file with the rod he will get to know that you know the we have started the process uh, so my question is will my buyer know that we have started the process at uh, with the ecgc 
of claiming no, this. No, 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 nothing like that. You file the uh, with the ECGC. There's no harm in that. And in the meantime, you can tell the, the ECGC also that I'm also in contact with them. But as per your to comply the rules and regulations of your company, I'm just filing this. That this is what you you need to tell them. Okay, so I file okay. RD, but I ask them that I have trust in the buyer. Kindly wait. No, no, no. Don't word use word uh, trust. S telling that I am also following up for the payment, but okay. uh, as per your uh, rules and regulation to comply with your rules and regulation, I am just filing this for your information. Okay. Okay. Uh, so they will start. So basically, <coughs> so what happens? Not immediately. Yar, wo government hai. Kya baat karte hain aap? Aisa aapka file aayega and they will take up the action against him immediately. No, no way. Yar. You, hmm. you telling that I am also following with them, but just to comply your rules and regulation, I am just informing you this with information. हाँ, वो मुझे बोलना है कि सर ये आपका default हो गया मतलब हमको नहीं नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं है ROD form में वो होता है ना कि क्या तो उसको covering letter ROD ये जो form के साथ में आप covering letter भी दे तो I am still in follow with them. Okay, okay, and he has asked so much times kindly allow us. ठीक है क्योंकि वो तो मेरे को वो आर फॉर्म के नीचे सीधा वो साइन करा रहे हैं उसमें अरे वो कराए, कराएगा भी तो भी वहाँ पे जाने के पे उसको टाइम लगेगा और खुदा न खासा करके वो कल बाहर वो नहीं दिया पेमेंट तो आओ यू आर सेफ विद देम ना देन वी आर सेफ यस यस ऑलवेज यू नो ड्यू टेक द ड्यू डेलीजेंसी अबाउट सच थिंग्स यार ओके ओके सर बट वो बाहर को मत बोलना की मैंने इधर ये कर दिया है करके नहीं नहीं डूंग ऑनली फॉर यूर सेफ्टी Ah, and I have all the covered all the other risk. Like, I have also said that goods he has received in good condition. Like, so you know, I have tried to cover all the risk also on our part. The good thing is, I mean, it was a very good thing. 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 It communication always pick up the phone always reply your emails and this keeps uh, as an a good exporter if you receive one order it is not your successful successful exporter if you uh, receive a uh, repeated order only then you are a successful exporter so right. communication is a uh, very it's not going goes no. sir wo uh, gayab nahi ho gaya hai phone utha raha hai mail pe jawab bhi de raha hai phone pe bhi baat kar raha hai aur same cheez maine ecdc ko bhi bula ke reason karna aur unhone 10 15 din ka khair aur zyada time manga hai i am fine मतलब समझ देना बहुत बड़ा तूफान आने वाला है आज है ना तो ये है बात हमारा कॉम्युनिकेशन एक्सपोर्ट के अंदर भी कॉम्युनिकेशन है तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है कॉम्युनिकेशन नहीं हो रहा है मतलब समझो कोई प्रॉब्लम आने वाला है अच्छा। so I hope you like this joke. <laughs> yes sir. Yes sir. Married and understood. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank, thank you, Mr. Shastri. Um, <clears throat> we'll take the next question now from Mr. Uh, Mr. Giri. Uh, so, can you please unmute yourself? Uh, hello. Uh, thank you so much for the webinar. It was very informative. Uh, I had few questions. <clears throat> First question is, uh, can we, uh, can we get uh, the ECGC cover for of uh, for two years? Or what See, is the maximum limit? Uh, what is the maximum period time period? Sabi, all the policies are having uh, the different uh, types of things there, which I have mentioned in my PPT. And uh, you go through, uh, and uh, you can visit to ECGC also. Ask them which policy which I can take it for two years, and they will advise you. Percentage is different, premium is different, period is different. Each and everything for the all policies. There are twenty-two policies. All policies are having the different futures. So you go through those policies, or you can directly ask the ECGC people. They will advise you. मैंने हाइपर लिंक दिया हुआ है सभी पॉलिसीज के अंदर यू कैन रीड इट आल्सो इफ यू वांट सर देयर इज वन मोर क्वेश्चन इफ ईसीजीसी इज गिविंग अ 1 करोड़ क्रेडिट लिमिट फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर बायर एंड देयर आर टू सप्लायर्स फॉर इट द अदर सप्लायर हैज टेकन द कंप्लीट लिमिट सो कैन वी गेट अ शेयर ऑफ दैट लिमिट हां ये प्रॉब्लम होता है वो बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन किया ओके लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस थिंग टू यू ऑल ऑफ यू है ना uh one person has applied to ecgc on particular buyer okay and ecgc rejected ke nahi de sakte iske upar policy 
तो नेवर एवर थिंक नेगेटिव अबाउट दैट बायर क्वेश्चन कैन स्पी टू नंबर वन दैट बायर इज नॉट गुड दैट वाई दे आर नॉट गिवन द पॉलिसी बट देर देर मे बी वन मोर क्वेश्चन दैट पर्टिकुलर बायर्स अ नेटवर्थ इज वन करोड़ आउट ऑफ दैट दे आर टेकिंग द एक्सपोजर अबाउट द एटी परसेंट दैट इज एटी लैक्स इन अदर सिटी सम एनी अदर एक्सपोर्टर हैज ऑलरेडी टेकन द पॉलिसी ऑफ एटी लैक्स फ्रॉम ए सी जी सी सो दैट इज वाई द रीजन ए सी जी सी इज नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग यू कवर ऑन दैट सो आस्क ए सी जी सी कि भैया ये कंपनी खराब है या आप लोगों ने जिसके आज कितना नेटवर्थ था वो किसी को पॉलिसी आप ऑलरेडी दे चुके हो ओके नंबर वन नंबर टू आज दे मेरे दी पर्टिकुलर एक्सपोर्टर इज नॉट एक्सपोर्टिंग टू हिम और खाली ऐसे ही लेके रखा हुआ है और नहीं यूटिलाइज कर रहा है तो कुछ पोर्शन मेरे को दे दो उसमें से सो दे दे विल कॉन्टेक्ट टू दैट पर्टिकुलर एक्सपोर्टर अगर उसने यूटिलाइज नहीं किया है तो उसको बोलेंगे भैया तूने यूटिलाइज नहीं किया है आउट ऑफ दिज एटी लैक्स आई एम फोर्टी लैक्स आई एम गिविंग टू मिस्टर गिरी एंड नॉट नॉट गिव यूर नेम बट दे विल टेल के मैं दूसरे किसी को दे रहा है बिकॉज यू आर नॉट यूटिलाइजिंग क्योंकि प्रीमियम भी तो उसको नहीं मिल रही है ना इसी किसी को इट इज ओनली क्रेडिटेड इन टू दी कस्टमर्स अकाउंट विद देम इट इज अप्लाइड ओनली वंस ही मेक द शिपमेंट एंड गिव द डिक्लेरेशन सो दिस इज व्हाट यस दैट दैट कैन बी डन थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू ग्रीन थैंक यू मिस्टर वी टेक आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मिस्टर फ्रॉम मिस शेट्टी हेलो हेलो कैन यू प्लीज सर या हाय हाय सर सो एक्चुअली माय क्वेश्चन वी हैड अर ईसीजीसी क्लेम अंडर एलसी फॉर अ पार्टी इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया सो वी वर हैविंग अ बिजनेस फॉर अप्रोक्सिमेटली वन एंड हाफ इयर सो बेसिकली ओवर व्यू दैट वी वर सेलिंग इट टू कस्टमर ए एंड ही वर सेलिंग इट फर्दर टू कस्टमर बी so our claim was uh, you know our under our policy the uh, main buyer uh, customer a was you know uh, insured so basically uh, right now our policy has been rejected by the ecdc uh, under the claim that there is a dispute between our main buyer and his uh, uh, party so that is why they are not paying us there mm-hmm. is some uh, dispute going on so which we are not party to So mm. under the, those circumstances, our payment is on hold. Uh, the mm. buyer is saying that we have given you an NOC, so you can you know uh, take it from our uh, uh, original buyer, uh, the party B. And mm. uh, party B is saying that you know we are not liable to pay you because you know you were dealing with uh, this party, mm. and you know we have our ongoing issues. So there's some IP dispute, etc., going on. So we have already incurred uh, heavy losses. so with this now the issue is that the goods have been sold and you know the the uh, original buyer has received those goods also mm-hmm. they have probably converted and you know sold in the market as well but right now we are the one in trouble here and uh, we have given all the documents whatever was feasible at our end and everything has been submitted but then uh, ecdc has claimed uh, you know they have rejected our uh, policy on uh, three parts first saying that you know you have uh, filed it uh, within 344 days which again uh, as per their policy uh, rules uh, we can either file it before 360 days of the uh, default uh, i think or else after expiry of the policy within 5 uh, 60 days if i'm not wrong 540 mm. or 560 days so mm. we fit into that category so that mm. is a second is they have uh, declined on the basis of this dispute that i have just tried to explain that our original buyer and some other party they have some dispute going on so they mm. say that we don't cover disputes mm. but uh, the main concern is that we don't have any dispute with our buyer mm-hmm. under who is covered in the policy so that is second part and the uh, third they said ki the few documents you know they were not uh, uh, the premium i think it wasn't uh, uh, covered uh, however we have paid the premium mm. so we just wanted to know like how can we uh, get our uh, you know claim uh, insured i mean how can we get our uh, claim done in under such circumstances <coughs> okay point number 1 was very clear so we are not discussing about that point number 2 Tell hmm. the tell the ECGC you have got nothing to do with the second buyer. You have taken Correct. the taken taken the policy. You keep it in a short and hammer it on that word only. Okay. Okay. Keep on okay. hammering on that particular point only. That hmm. you have got nothing to do with that second buyer. Neither ECGC has to got to do anything with that, nor you have to got to do anything with. 
आप लोगों ने पहले से एक लिस्ट बना तो करेक्ट बिकॉज वो एक्चुअली कैसा था देव इंसिस्टिंग कि आप वो ना वो जो आपने मेंशन किया कि रिकवरी टीम से कोऑर्डिनेट कर रहा एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट बट उनके जो क्लेम्स और टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस ऑफ वर्किंग था हमको वायबल नहीं लगा बिकॉज देर आर नो अश्योरिटी कि वो हम लोग लेंगे उनको साइन करेंगे एंड दे विल यू नो हेल्प अस गेट सम बिकॉज ऑलरेडी उन्होंने आई थिंक प्री रिसर्च किया था ऑन दी पार्टी एंड दे सेड कि उन्होंने पार्टी ने ऑलरेडी अपना यू नो डी रजिस्टर कर दिया है सो वी डोंट हैव एनी अदर चांसेस सो वी बट स्टिल वी कैन ट्राई सो बट उधर वायबल ही नहीं लग रहा था एंड देन दे हैव अज परसेंटेज ऑफ कमीशन दैट दे टेक अगर वो यू नो हम लोग को मिल भी जाता है तो एट दी एंड so <coughs> so so we didn't find it viable so as per your uh, suggestion we'll we'll move ahead like that that we'll, that uh, inform ECTC and give that, uh, communication so okay. that is the only question thank you, Prena, abhi, thank you so much thank you, thank you. एक छोटी सी बात है ना वो सभी लोगों के लिए मैं एक दूसरा क्वेश्चन हूँ उसके पहले एक बात याद रखो सभी लोग दिस इज आई एम टेलिंग यू फ्रॉम माई एक्सपीरियंस वो ये है कोई भी इंश्योरेंस कंपनी हो हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस हो एल हो प्राइवेट कंपनी हो के गवर्नमेंट इंश्योरेंस कंपनी हो ई सी जी सी सी साउस इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इंश्योरेंस कंपनी का खाली एक ही काम है कौन सा आपसे प्रीमियम लेना फुल स्टॉप उनसे पॉलिसी लेना भी आपका काम है उनसे क्लेम लेना भी आपका काम है वो उनका काम नहीं है कि वो आपको क्लेम दें या वो भी इनका ये काम नहीं है कि आपको पॉलिसी दें so in these three words i hope everybody understood what i want to say you are need to be very careful you are supposed to read each and every word about that particular policy and uh, that is why uh, the drip capital is with you so if you would like to discount the postpayment document uh, go with them wahan pe aisa kuch bhi nahi hai kyunki they are taking the due diligence about all these things and then giving you the without records uh, payment so वो ड्यू डेलीजेंसी ले रहे हैं तो उनकी जो छोटी सी मोटी सी वो प्रीमियम है जहाँ पे हम लोग कभी कभी कोई नहीं बोलती है मुझे कि सर वॉट डू यू थिंक वेदर वी शुड गो विथ प्राइवेट इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इंश्योरेंस कंपनी और गवर्नमेंट तो एक ही जवाब देता हूँ भगवान न करे खुदा खासा आपके घर में कोई बीमार हो तो वेर विल यू टेक यू विद प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल और गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल ये भी गवर्नमेंट है वो प्राइवेट है ड्रिप तो ये है डिफरेंस है तो दिस इज द मैसेज टू ऑल ऑफ यू सर मैं अल्जेरिया में एक्सपोर्ट कर रहा हूँ अभी मैंने तीन कंसाइनमेंट एक्सपोर्ट किए थे तो डीपी पे मैंने एक्सपोर्ट किया था आगे बोलो मैंने इसी जैसी कोई कवरेज नहीं दिया था Uh, तो वहाँ पे एक एजेंट है उसको मैं एक्सपोर्ट करता हूँ और उसके क्लाइंट को भी एक्सपोर्ट करता हूँ तो अभी फर्स्ट टाइम जब एक्सपोर्ट किया तो पेमेंट तो आ गया फटाफट लेकिन सेकंड टाइम जब मैंने एक्सपोर्ट किया तो बहुत ज्यादा डिले हुआ मोर देन थ्री मंथ्स हेलो हाँ मैं सुन रहा हूँ uh, जी सर तो जो एजेंट के नाम पर एक्सपोर्ट किया था तो उसने बीच में मुझे बोला कि डी जो हमने डॉक्यूमेंट भेजा था वो बोला कि बैंक में जाके इसको डी पी एट साइड था तो उसने कहा कि इसको जाके एक्सटेंड कराओ क्योंकि अल्जीरिया में दो तुम्हारे डॉक्यूमेंट हमारे पास आ गए हैं दो महीने से ज़्यादा हो रहा है तो हमारा बैंक वापस कर देगा तुम्हारे बैंक को तो फिर तो आ, मैं जाके आ, फिर एक स्विफ्ट भेजवाया फिर उसके बाद बोला कि नहीं इसको फिर चेंज कराओ फिर पहले की तरह करा के भेजो फिर मैंने पहले की तरह करा के भेजा लेकिन अब उसका पेमेंट आ गया आ, लेकिन बहुत ढीले हुआ तीन से चार महीने लग गए और मैं काफ़ी <laughs> पेन में था आ, अब लेकिन फिर से वो कह रहा है कि हमें शिपमेंट भेजो इस केस में ए सी जी सी मेरा ये कवर कर सकता है क्या और इसमें आ, अगर पास्ट, पास्ट तो भूल जाओ मतलब जो हो गया सो हो गया पेमेंट आ गया एंड 
भगवान के उदय जाके नारियल तोड़ के आना की अल्जेरिया की पेमेंट आपके पास आ गई तो अल्जेरिया इज कमिंग इन वेरी रिस्की कंट्री अल्जेरिया अल्जेरिया ना हाँ मैं पता नहीं नहीं अल्जेरिया नहीं अल्जेरिया की बात करूँ ना अल्जेरिया तो बहुत अच्छी कंट्री है यार अल्जेरिया हाँ अल्जेरिया की बात करूँ तो हाँ जी, जी, मैं आई आई अंडरस्टैंड अल्जेरिया थोड़ी रिस्की कंट्री में आ रही है मैं तो सभी लोगों को कुछ कंट्रियों के नाम बता रहा था लेकिन वो नहीं बताना अच्छा है लेकिन अल्जेरिया से करने के बदले आप दो सौ हैं दुनिया में अठारह बीस कंट्रियाँ ऑलरेडी सेंक्शन लगे हुए हैं यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका के तो वो कंट्री को छोड़ दें ऑफ एक कंट्री करके आप डालेंगे गूगल में तो आपको 18 कंट्रीज का नाम मिल जाएगा वहाँ पे सप्लाई नहीं करना है और बाकी कंट्रियाँ इतनी हैं तो क्यों अल्जेरिया में जाने का मैं हमेशा यही एक बात बोलता हूँ सभी लोगों को मेरे ट्रेनिंग के दरमियान या मेरी कंसल्टेंसी के दरमियान इतनी बड़ी मार्केट है एक्सपोर्ट की जहाँ पे हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी कंट्रीज़ हैं तो ऐसी वाली कंट्री या ऐसे वाले बाहर को क्यों बेचना अगर मेरे पास दूसरा अवेलेबल है तो है ना इतना बड़ा मार्केट अवेलेबल है तो मैं ऐसे वाले रिस्की वाले को ही मैं क्यों कवर करूँ बोलता तो आपको ज़्यादा वहाँ पे मार्जिन मिलता है या आपको मुँह मांगी प्राइस मिलती है तो जो थोड़ा कम प्राइस में या कम खा के अच्छा वाला खाना खाओ है ना तो ज़्यादा रिस्की जी वहाँ पे थोड़ा प्राइस अच्छा मिल जा रहा है हाँ मुझे पता है ना ऐसा आपने बोला उसके पहले मैंने बता दिया आपको ईरान में करोगे बहुत अच्छा प्राइस मिलेगा क्योंकि ईरान के ऊपर सेंक्शन लगे हुए हैं दुनिया की कोई कंट्री भी उसको सप्लाई नहीं कर रहेगी तो डेफिनेटली वो अच्छी प्राइस भी देगी फिर आपका ई बढ़ता रहेगा ई सी नहीं लोगे तो ई सी नहीं लिया तो ई सी बढ़ेगा इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कार्डियोग्राम आपको हमेशा रोज चेक करना पड़ेगा कि हाँ मेरा दिल कितना धड़क रहा है तो या तो ई सी लो या ई सी का मशीन ले लो या फिर ड्रिप या तो फिर ड्रिप के पास जाओ तो दोनों ई सी भी जरूरत नहीं है और आपको ई मशीन लेने की भी जरूरत नहीं है ड्रिप तो को बोलो हमारा डॉक्यूमेंट डिस्काउंट करके दे दो अगर वो करके देते हैं ड्रिप कैपिटल से भी पहले मैंने कांटेक्ट किया था लेकिन हाँ। पहले हाँ। हमारा शिपमेंट कम कम था तो वो लोग कैटर नहीं कर रहे थे अभी तो हमारे शिपमेंट ठीक ठाक है तो फिर दोबारा से मैं कांटेक्ट करता हूँ और इसी जिसी को मैं फोन करता हूँ पिक ही नहीं करते अरे ड्रिप को पकड़ो ठीक है सर ड्रिप है ही इसी के लिए आप लोगों के लिए जो इसी जिसी से परेशान हो ना सब लोग वो ड्रिप उसके लिए तो बनाया गया है जी जी ठीक है ओके सर ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सर Thank you, Mr. Alam. Uh, we'll share our uh, we'll share a link where you can get in touch with us soon. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Bhatia. We'll take the next question from one of our YouTube body. Hmm. Um, let me read that out for you. Uh, Mr. Dilip Kumar is saying, when my payment when my payment is defaulted and I have received my claim from ECGC, uh, but can I claim my GST for my input refund? ऑफ कोर्स ये जी एस टी तो पहले मिल जाते हैं शिपमेंट करने के पहले ही विद इन टेन डेज ऑफ टाइम अरे मैं दूसरी बहुत बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन किया है आपने दो बातें बताना चाहता हूँ मस्त क्वेश्चन है इट इज विल बी अ प्रॉफिटेबल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ई सी जी सी से क्लेम मिला है जी एस टी तो जब एक्सपोर्ट हो गया उसके टेन डेज में ऑटोमेटिकली आपके खाते में क्रेडिट हो जाता है नहीं लिया है तो रिफंड फाइल कर दो ओके दूसरी बात बेस्ट आर ओ डी टी पी या एम ई आई एस जो गवर्नमेंट के इंसेंटिव हैं जो ड्यूटी ड्रॉबैक है ना वो भी मिलेंगे ECGC से आपको मिला है तो क्लेम तो प्लीज नोट एवरी वन एवरी वन ना ई सी जी सी क्लेम गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने बताया है कि ई सी जी सी से आपका बिल सेटल हुआ है तो गवर्नमेंट के जो इंसेंटिव हैं आपके एम ई आई एस या आर ओ डी टी पी ड्यूटी ड्रॉबैक इंटरेस्ट सब्वेंशन या टी एम ए बेनिफिट वो सब मिलने के पात्र हैं आप लोगों को सो दिस इज द बेनिफिट यू आर गेटिंग वेन यू आर अटेंडिंग अवर वेबिनार we will take the next question from mr ram sir yadav uh, mr yadav can you please unmute yourself sir yeah good afternoon sir good afternoon yadav uh, sir actually humne ek export kiya tha uh, mombasa ke liye okay on da pe document against payment but hamare uh-huh. buyer ne expo, uh, document ko release nahi karwaya document against payment nahi hai da uh, document against acceptance hai नहीं सॉरी डॉक्यूमेंट अगेंस्ट पेमेंट ही था डीपी था सॉरी डीपी ओके हाँ तो डॉक्यूमेंट बाय ने रिलीज नहीं करवाया और हमारे को वो शिपमेंट फाइनली कॉल बैक करना पड़ा इसके लिए हमने ई से प्रायर अप्रूवल भी लिया और शिपमेंट को अप्रूवल कर लिया बट जब हमने अप्रूवल प्रायर अप्रूवल लिया था तब हमने एक एस्टिमेटेड चार्जेज ई को बताए थे कि ये हमारे एस्टिमेटेड चार्जेज आएंगे बट बट जब शिपमेंट वापस आया तो उसमें टाइम काफी लग गया ड्यू टू कोविड और ये की वजह से और हमारा जो एस्टिमेटेड चार्जेस थे जस्ट डबल उसका चार्जेस हो गया हमने ई में जब क्लेम किया तो ई ने हमारे को क्लेम कंसिडर किया अप टू 
एक जो उन्होंने अर्ली एस्टिमेटेड दिया था वहीं तक का बट हमारे जो चार्जेज लगे एक्चुअली जो लगे वो जस्ट डबल लग गए उसके इसमें हमारे को क्या करना चाहिए सर कुछ तो आपने एक्सप्लेनेशन दे दिया उन लोगों को वो पुटा, पुटा केस फॉर रिव्यू एंड सेंड सेंड इट इट देम टू टू देयर हेड ऑफिस नो एक्चुअली उन्होंने ऑलरेडी क्लेम पार्शियल क्लेम सेटल कर दिया और अभी आपने पार्शियल क्लेम सेटल करने के टाइम उन लोगों ने लिखवा के लिया होगा आपसे कि फ्यूचर में आप कुछ भी नहीं बोलोगे इसके बारे में नहीं नहीं उन्होंने एक्चुअली हमारे को राइटिंग में दिया है कि यू कैन जस्ट रिप्रेजेंट योर केस हाँ यही तो बोला मैंने रिप्रेजेंट करो केस को है ना टेल देम टू वी आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग अवर केस बिकॉज ऑफ द कोविड द एक्स्ट्रा चार्जेस वर आल्सो इंकर्ड एंड प्लीज री ओपन द फाइल एंड गिव अस द बैलेंस ऑफ द क्लेम आल्सो बट एक्चुअली सर ये इस तरीके से हो सकता है कि पार्सल हाँ, क्यों नहीं हो सकता है यार कोविड तो बात ही ऐसी है पूरी दुनिया को बदल दिया तो इसी जी तो क्या है ओके सर ओके थैंक यू ठीक है थैंक यू मिस्टर यादव सो वी विल टेक द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आवर YouTube ऑडियंस मिस शीबा शर्मा इज आस्किंग वी हैव एक्सपोर्टेड गुड्स टू फ्रांस बट बायर हैज बिकम बैंक्रप्ट एंड वी हैव वी हैव नॉट रजिस्टर्ड फॉर ईसीजीसी सो व्हाट शुड वी डू भूल जाओ एसीजीसी नहीं लिया है बैंक करप्ट हो गया अब क्या करोगे गुड्स कैसे क्या थी डीए थी सीएडी पता नहीं है अगर सीएडी गुड्स अभी भी पड़ी हैं तो वापस मंगा लो और डीए है था तो कुछ भी नहीं मिलेगा अभी बैंक करप्ट भी हो गया अभी क्या होगा अभी तो कुछ भी नहीं हो सकता है डेड बॉडी को क्या करेंगे है ना कुछ भी नहीं नथिंग कैन बी हैपन नथिंग कैन यू डू इन टू देर वन सेट इज बैंक करप्ट इट इज बैंक करप्ट बट वन थिंग इज देर फ्रांस के अंदर एक फैसिलिटी है जो वहाँ का गवर्नमेंट uh, जिसको देती है ना ये बैंक करप्सी का क्या बोलते हैं इसको एक वर्ड है फैसिलिटर जो क्रेडिट एंड डेटर्स एंड क्रेडिटर्स को मैनेज करता है उसको आप लिख सकते हैं कि वी वी नीड टू हैव दिस मच फंड्स विद अस सो दे डू कंसीडर फॉर यू सो दिस यू कैन फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम देम हु आर दे आर लिक्विडेटर येस लिक्विडेटर वर्ड अरे प्लीज राइट डाउन द वर्ड आर लिक्विडेटर लिक्विडेटर इज अ वर्ड Uh, for the companies who are uh, arranging uh, the inflow and outflow fund of the, uh, those companies who gone to default in uh, Europe or khas karke France mein to liquidator ko likhe aur unse hi mang le wo khud bhi denge liquidator ka naam aur liquidator ko apna uh, case present karenge to 99% percentage uh, aapka solve to problem ho jayega lekin ho sakta hai kuch percentage kam milega lekin milega zarur so the good thing I think that was a wonderful advice. Uh, mm. We're running short of time, uh, so we're just going to take probably one or maybe two questions. Uh, I'm going to let Mr. Palhur Rahman Rahman speak. So, um, okay. Uh, thank you. One second. Inka to ho gaya. Inka ho gaya na. Can you Rahman to ho gaya? Okay. Second, second, second question. Hey. Hello. Bolli. Ah. Sir, kya ho gaya? Asi. इधर से रशिया और यूरोपियन कंट्रीज को जो वार चल रहा है ना उधर एक्सपोर्ट कर रहा है नई जगह पहुंचा सी में है वो लोग का क्या होएगा कल है ना कल कल सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट का मीटिंग है इसके बारे में ओके okay. रोक सकते हैं बीच में रोक सकते हैं शिपिंग कंपनी को इंस्ट्रक्शन दे दो डू नॉट गो फर्दर एंड ब्रिंग बैक द गुड्स अगर इफ यू आर नॉट श्योर अबाउट taking the goods further and if you are afraid about the payment i i, I think you should wait for tomorrow <coughs> tomorrow there is a central government meeting for the goods which have gone from india to ukraine and russia so kal okay. uh, sham tak wait karo okay uske baare mein meeting link kuch hai sir kal hai meeting tomorrow there is a meeting so okay. wo central government ka meeting hai so you will probably catch that on news yeah end of the day tomorrow this is what okay. i want to say Mm. first they are asking for 30% before production and after production they are asking for remaining 70% mm. so uh, they are not accepting lp and all mm. so how to verify them sir oh maine aapne shuru se did you uh, see my full video or not 
No sir. Uh, Achha, so you go to DNB, you go to DNB, Dun and Broad Street, and uh, take out the report on that uh, supplier. If that report is okay, then only by DNB after taking out the DNB report, please read out all the pages. People say, do read only first page and then make the advance, advance payment under import. One okay. case one case has happened uh, with our one of our participant is that that he applied for DNB report. Dun and Broad Street is a credit rating agency who is giving a report on that particular uh, supplier in uh, those countries, and okay. he received the report and then he did not read on first page it was written no default and he made the payment, and okay. then the supplier was uh, uh, he ran away and then he told me sir report me ऐसा लिखा है that part, particular party has not done any default. And uh, subsequent pages, it was written that net worth of that particular company was only one thousand dollar. He has not done any import nor export. So definitely, कुछ की आई नहीं है import export तो no default ही आएगा ना पहले page पे. तो subsequent pages भी तो पढ़ो. Only hundred dollar, sorry, one thousand net worth है उसका. तो it's a new party. So please read out the whole report of DNB once you apply for with them and you receive the report. Read it and then if you satisfy with the report, then only uh, pay them at one, not otherwise. ओके सर थैंक यू मैम यस सर रिकॉर्डेड सेशन ऑफ रिकॉर्डेड सेशन विल बी अवेलेबल इन यस यू कैन यू कैन प्रॉब्ली गो बैक टू YouTube टुमारो एंड यू विल बी एबल टू व्यू द एंटायर सेशन अगेन ओके एंड आल्सो पीडीएफ यू विल मेल द पीडीएफ राइट यस वी विल सेंड यू द प्रेजेंटेशन आल्सो ओके द प्रेजेंटेशन इज ओके या थैंक यू थैंक यू मिस्टर गावडा आई थिंक दैट्स इट आई एम वी रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम टू टेक मोर क्वेश्चंस बट इन केस you have a question please uh, mr bhatia's <coughs> email address is been mentioned on the screen uh, you could write to him directly or you can reach out to us our team will get in touch with mr bhatia and help you connect with him um it's time to close our session right now uh, lessons have been learned questions have been asked and i think uh, the the only thing we need to take away from this webinar is we need to hedge our risk smartly uh thank you mr bhatia for sharing your knowledge with our fellow exporters thank you thank very you. much indeed thank you to all our viewers for joining today and being an excellent audience in today's webinar you will receive a short survey once we end this session request you all to please share your valuable feedbacks and topic you want to hear from us it's very important for us to organize these sessions uh, so if you come back to us with uh, topics that you really want to know about uh, anything around policies or uh, the current situations we'd be happy to organize more webinars on the same subject you may also follow us on social media to stay in touch with drip capital and follow our blogs and newsletters for recent trade updates and insight on foreign trade related matters uh, we are also organizing a, a webinar on 25th on the uncertain times and how do you hedge your risk during such times especially around the supply chain disruption and the crisis at in europe uh, please also subscribe to our youtube channel you may click on the link shared in the chat section right now where you can access all our previous and the current webinar uh, have a great evening and please stay safe uh, that's a thank you everyone thank you very much all of you and uh, keep on watching our uh, next uh, coming webinars also thanks indeed thanks vanita thank, uh, thank, thank you very much have a good day thank you